this is a tip to how you can do it with no smearing in your card. It's disgusting if you smear it in your card. Like, this is a smear one here. And this is a good one. It's short and no thick lines. No little worms here. So this is the tip. I drew this one minute before this video. And it's completely dry. So the tip is, you draw this and wait one minute before you use uh, the, the, the fine pen marker to draw it. Or it will be like this. A few moments later. important like these cards are actually in it gifted treasure blue see these and the mirage i use a bit of shading here yellow and brown and this is white and black this one is the this one is the card that i used a lot of shading see the light is here mirage and here's a black line for shading the Stomper X here, dark, and Sand Monster. Here's some sh a little bit of shading that will make the thing the, the, the thing that is more 3D. Frozen Icicles, see, and Dual Ice Ray Swords. I'm not. Ah, yeah, this one is the most. I love this. In the Virgil Fist, a bit of shading, a, a lot of purple, Pyramid of Death. Crap. Here's a little tip for shading. For example, I draw like this one. This 3D. And you just need to add shading here. I mean, if the sun is here. Just add some in here and some in here. This, this, this plate. Yeah. And it will like a bit of 3D. That's not perfect enough. Like if I draw this, it seems like it's just a flat paper. But if you add these, awesome. <laughs> uh, the card template is also called uh, <laughs> a structure because people when yeah when people see this structure. Uh, this structure reminds people that th this card is Twisted Wizard, so a uh, structure is very important. Let's see these e examples. This is the Stomper X structure. This is the Mirage structure. And this is the Demonic Spike structure in the right. So as you can see, this is the Stomper X structure. And this is the mirror structure, and this is the demonic spike structure. Okay, so this is the best tip for the structure. For example, this is a card, and this is my structure. I'm using my structure as an example. It's not, it's just a sketch, never mind. Uh, ignore these lines. So, this is my sketchbook. Uh, for example, I want to draw a, a bird. So what's the main what's the main thing that can represent a bird? That's uh for example this is a bird and the wings that can represent a bird and also the bird fly in the sky so you have to draw some clouds or even the sun here and just draw the main character here for example a bird just draw like this and just yeah, just name it effect and bird. So if even if your drawing is not 
a best. It's not perfect. The bird, uh, the people can also see your bird because it's in the sky. So the fourth tip, color more even. In the left card, it's from Crayola. I mean, I'm colored from uh, with Crayola, and it's not even. It's muddy. But in the right card, it's even because I colored with with brush. Uh, if you don't have any brush, you can just uh, use this tip. So this is the tip. This is Crayola. Oh yeah, I forgot to introduce. This is Crayola, and this is my brush. You use Crayola, you will just color it like <laughs> some pile of muds. This is a quick tip. Color this like this. And then don't come don't color it here again. Color it here. And like this. Like this. See? It's not as it is money. If you use a lot of this it's better than this, I think. Yeah, this is my tip. So, the last thing is that you need to use more gradient color. Like, I used gradient color to these cards and make them, yeah, more beautiful. Like this. It's a dark blue and it's a light blue. And you will see it's gradient. This is only one of them. And demonic beam. This is not gradient, but it's the similar color to that. This is red and this is orange. It's the yeah, it's also warm color. And you, you can see quite well. Orange, uh brown and red. This one also. And blue no no, I mean dark blue. Uh, not that, not light blue, uh, light blue, light, 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 light blue, very light blue. And it works very well. So, these are the examples. I'm using, I'm using the color purple for today's, uh, for this, this short clips example. These are the purple color pencils and the, you can see that. They are similar to another colors. There's a lot of kind of purple. See, light purple, pink, dark purple, and this is the brush for using the purple. And you can see in uh, don't smear. I mean the first tip, don't smear. It's a good brush. And these are also the purples markers. And these are the cards that I use radiant color. Okay, that's the end of today's video, and do you think these 5 tips are awesome? Please comment uh, in the right hand corner here. Yeah, press the white button. Okay, so bye!